Klongo is outside the court this morning and let's now cross live to her for the latest. A very good morning to you, Ayanda. What is happening where you are? A very good morning to you, uh, Desiree. Well, it's still a bit uh, quiet. We weren't expecting, of course, as you heard in that uh, insert that uh, uh, you played earlier on, we weren't expecting crowds uh, today. Um, it, as has been said, and yesterday, the uh, Jacob Zuma Foundation also confirming uh, through a statement as well as his office that we spoke to earlier on, confirming that uh, the former president will not uh, be uh, in court uh, today as he is not well. Um, so uh, as a result of that, uh, those who arranged the support uh, for the former president had said that there's not going to be people outside. But of course, uh, today inside court, we are expecting that uh, it is going to be a very brief uh, appearance. It is going to be a postponement. Today was set uh, to be a provisional uh, trial date. And uh, as we know that having lost uh, the, his uh, bid for, to appeal this uh, court of the Peter Maritzburg High Court judgment where he was seeking a permanent stay of uh, prosecution that was last year. He had until the 1st of November last year if he was going to petition the Supreme Court and he has in fact done that and so um, as uh, you probably heard there as well, Advocate Makosa Zanimbonani who we spoke to saying that um, there were two uh, matters. It was the civil matter which was uh, the application for the permanent stay as well as the criminal matter. Now until the civil matter has uh, been uh, concluded uh, the, uh, tr uh, the trial, the criminal trial will um, then be unable to uh, continue. So, of course, now that the former president as well, as uh, his co-accused, the French arms company, tell us that they've taken their matter to higher courts. Uh, once they've exhausted all legal avenues, uh, be it the Supreme Court, whatever the outcome of the Supreme Court will be, Desiree, they then will take it up, possibly, according to what legal experts are saying, the matter could go as far as the Constitutional Court and depending, of course, on the decision, if they take it that far and the decision then of the Apex Court, um, then the matter will come back to trial. So they say, Desiree, that um, we could expect uh, another year uh, before uh, the actual trial um, gets uh, under head, uh, if it well, so today uh, we are possibly, it was of course the defense uh, teams uh, will uh, be in to request a postponement, but also um, is the matter of the fact that the former president is not going to be in court as it is the uh, trial or supposed to be the trial date he was or should have been uh, in court today. But uh, we understand, uh, having spoken to his office yesterday, that his legal team, if the court requires, could either have to give a letter as uh, from his doctor or else will have to uh, bring into the court something in writing to explain why uh, the former president is not in court today. So those are the two things that we are expecting insofar as what will happen inside court. There will be the, the postponement and the next uh, date uh, that will be decided upon, but also to hear uh, from his uh, defense team what uh, they say uh, to the court insofar as him being unable to be uh, in court today. Um, just speaking about the people that, uh, uh, we, well, as I said earlier on, Desiree, we weren't expecting crowds, but we have seen uh, at least two leaders of the ANC who are also uh, members of the Zuma family, and that is um, the uh, chief whip of the ANC, the chief whip of the legislature, was also a PEC member of the ANC, Super Zuma, as well as the former uh, deputy mayor, uh, Tobani Zuma. They have made their way uh, in here in court, as well as one or, one or two, I think, other uh, members of uh, the ANC. Uh, they did not want to uh, speak to us uh, or even to tell us uh, this condition of where the former president uh, is, but just to say that they're here on his behalf just to be in court uh, and to see what will happen uh, today insofar as the proceedings are concerned. Desiree. Thank you so much, uh, uh, Ayanda Mklongo, for that comprehensive setting of the scene for that uh, process that we'll be watching this morning to see if indeed uh, ends up in a postponement.